people are delighted by the notion of international production companies coming to South Africa to celebrate our creative talent and to showcase our acting skills on a global stage. Let's just take a trip through history, Mr. President. Let's go back to the early 1800s, when a bright young South African woman who was talented in language and dance was taken to perform in London and Paris. She became the talk of the town. People paid just to marvel at her. She was known as Sarah Bartman, the hot and tot Venus. And no, she wasn't a professional artist. She was kept as an exhibition in a freak show that traveled through the UK. She was sold to an animal trainer in Paris and studied by scientists as a curiosity somewhere between human and animal. And when she died at 26 years old, she was kept as a museum piece in Paris. Nobody ever knew her real name. So, Mr. President, when we ask about how these international producers are here to support our industry, let's also ask, why is it that when we dare to suggest industry regulation that some of these producers threaten to pull out and spend their money elsewhere? Let's also ask about the injustices in our creative economy and why is it that in 2019, South African actors still can't earn royalties or be protected against unfair exploitation? So I have two questions for you, Mr. President. One, do you think England, France or the US have forgotten to protect their actors? And two, when will you sign the bills, Mr. President? <laughs>